Hi friends, today I am going to talk on the very very rarely touched topic of yawning and it is everybody, you and myself, we yawn in day to day life at least 15 to 20 times in a day but yawning is normal and physiological. Yawning Nobody till today are able to solve the mystery of yawning. Hence, I would like to share some of the facts which have been known facts about yawning with you. It is least understood human behavior. While going through this topic, while reading, while going through, while seeing me yawning, and you also start yawning because this is not an interesting topic. This is the very, very, very boring topic and yawning is most oftenly uh, occurs in adults before and after, immediately after awakening and how it helps, physiologically how it helps to rejuvenate our body or what is the significance of yawning is not known. Now we will go through the mechanism, the nervous system, the brain centers, the muscles involved and what are the after effects of yawning. That I will tell you in other slides. Dear friends, everybody yawns day and night at any time and it is an involuntary action, involuntary action characterized by a long inspiration, brief acme followed by short expiration and sometimes there will be stretching of limbs also accompanies yawning. This yawning occurs as early as 12 weeks of conception that is a fetus also yawns regularly. Yawning is linked to maturity of the brain in early gestation. Yawning it is benign. Yawning it is present in all vertebrates. Normal Yawning in newborn is 30 to 50 times per day. In normal adults, it is less than 20 times per day. And duration of yawning is 5 to 6 seconds. And after yawn, humans experience of well-being. And majority of the episodes of yawning occurs after activities which require minimal interaction such as attending lectures, studying, driving, watching TV. And these are all the things. Coming to the causes of yawning, there are mainly the physiological causes and pathological causes. And physiological causes are that is the we call it fatigueness, sleepiness, sleep apnea, narcolepsy, boredom, and side effects of some medications. Anxiety, especially anxiety, is the common trigger for yawning. Now coming to the pathological things, when uh, there will be pathological things, there is a depression, brain tumors, heart attacks, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, liver failures and supratentoral lesions of brain. These are the pathological conditions where there will be excessive yawning occurs. During sleep, yawning is less common. Some theory suggests that yawning is a part of thermoregulatory response which helps to cool the brain because of shunting of the blood to facial muscles. That's why temperature of the brain comes down to baseline within 3 minutes of yawning. Coming to the mechanism of yawning, what are the things are involved? They are the nervous system is involved, muscles are involved and brain centers are involved. Now I will we will talk about nervous system. The cranial nerves involved are fifth, seventh, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. And dorsal cervical nerves, that is C1 to C4, that is phrenic nerve, is also involved. Dorsal nerves innervating the intercostal muscles. A yawn is a coordinated movement of the thoracic muscles, diaphragm, laryngeal muscles, and parietal muscles and facial muscles. Yawning is a semi-voluntary and partly a reflex. 
controlled by the neurotransmitters of the hypothalamus of the brain and specially the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus plays an important role in the and it is an integration center between central and peripheral autonomic system the nervous system in the brain the, the neurotransmitters are essential for the transmission of the impulses and they are the which are the neurotransmitters involved in yawning are dopamine excitatory amino acids nitric oxide n methyl d aspartic acid oxytocin and acetylcholine induces yawning via muscarinic receptors from the respiratory neurons of the medulla the motor nuclei of the 5th 7th 9th 10th and 12th cranial nerve through the all these are involved through these uh, neurotransmitters the impulses are sent to the muscles how it is inhibition of yawning takes place with gaba opioid peptides opiate like drugs inhibit yawning and now coming to the muscles because this is the nervous system the nervous system sends the impulses to the muscles and the which are the muscles involved in the yawning the muscles of the respiratory tract diaph muscles of the diaphragm intercostal muscles facial muscles neck muscles masseter orbicularis oculi lateral pterygoid muscle and temporalis if there is a continuously excessive yawning how to stop yawning these are the things few of the thing the methods are take a due deep breaths breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth drink cool cool drinks cool beverages cold water and keep surrounding environmental environment should be cool and reducing the antidepressant or some other medications which may be antihistaminics or something which may be patient may be using and uh, sleep aid because even in uh, case of sleep apnea there will be yawning will be more that's why they can use for these sleep aids like, just like cpap bpap machines yawning decreases if ice packs are kept on the head that is the if the temperature of the head comes down yawning also reduces coming to the social empathy that is contagious one yawning contagious yawning is somebody if we see somebody yawning then we will also start it and the empathy is the ability to recognize and share the emotions of the other people a collection of mirror neurons in the right posterior inferior and frontal gyrus is suggest to be involved in contagious one yawning most yawns are after awakening in the morning and afternoon naps babies and young children up to the age of 6 are immune to yawning because this contagious yawning doesn't occur in babies and young children and few occurs it doesn't occur even in schizophrenics schizophrenics has lower contagion of yawning and whenever there is a social bonding whenever there are the close friends and relatives or spouses they are more likely to stimulate contagious yawning than straining strangers if we see strangers yawning that we will not get yawning and if we see that our own relatives or our friends close friends they are yawning immediately the yawning occurs and even uh, seeing by somebody are seeing hearing through the phone or anything and reading and even thinking of yawn can trigger the yawning the beginning itself i have told you that research is going on in the regarding yawning and nothing positive has come out till today and when yawning in a 20 year 20 week old fetus suggests that nearly a boredom and drowsiness is unjustified we cannot say that because of we are feeling bored we are feeling drowsy and because of that because it is already it starts at by the 20 week of fetus there may be definite underlying physio physiological importance which needs to be explored and yawning is 
thought to be a communicating changing environment or internal body conditions to the others. If this is case in humans, it is most likely vestigial and lost its significance, but we don't know. We will try to do research and find out the significance of yawning along with you. I request you to go ahead and along with me do some research and get the find out the significance of yawning in humans. All the best for future research.